All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today is not the video that you were promised about biodiesel and how to make it. I have most of the stuff I need, but I don't have everything yet. Uh, I like to share my mistakes with you guys as well as my successes, though. Um, I'm going to bring you over to the Toyota. So I'm working on the oil system on the Toyota. Uh, if you're not familiar, you're probably not hard to see but you can see pretty well through there that block and those two lines are the oil system on the Toyota the filter is external uh, it actually had an oil cooler when it was stock um, the lines to the turbo all run out of that there's a big housing that bolts on uh, from the factory but it's actually external it's a whole little self-contained system so my filter would be sitting right around here. Uh, the turbo feed would be off that. So I did away with that. Um, I made a block myself and then I didn't trust myself. So I bought Roan from Doomsday Diesel um, and I followed other people's builds and, and I did things the way they did it. And I, I wish I hadn't, I wish I'd followed my gut to begin with. So out of that block comes my oil filters down there on the frame rail um, and the oil feed to the turbo and then I ran this fuel pressure regulator to regulate the oil to the turbo uh, the drain goes down to the pan and then that's a return back into the block on the side of my engine block um, this is too complex in my opinion it doesn't work for me I never see pressure on that gauge uh, I, I don't think that I've had correct oil pressure ever now I probably did this to myself but uh to start with my remote filter block relocator thing um has a 1-16 thread and I did that so that I could use this giant Amsoil bypass oil filter um and at the time that I bought all this stuff I didn't actually know what I needed or what kind of space I was going to have and that was mistake number one. Um, mistake number two was not understanding how these bypass filters actually are intended to be used. This is not a primary filter, although I used it for, as one. Uh, so I'm not really sure if I was getting all the oil filtering or none of the oil filtering. But mistake number three is clearly, it's enormous. Um, I don't know, I think it's like 11 and a half inches long or something. Um, so on a vehicle that's going to go off road, my, my frame's only three inches high. You know, I had a massive amount of filters sticking below the frame and, and it wasn't cool. There's no way it was going to last off road. Um, so I hopped on the Wix site, which I'll actually link below because it's pretty handy. And I looked up other filters that used a one 16 thread. And I came across this AC Delco PF66. This is a factory filter for a three liter diesel in like a Colorado or a Silverado or a Tahoe, the new baby Duramax. Um, that's a three liter diesel. Seems like a match made in heaven. So I bought one, it's like 12 bucks. Uh, I threw it on, started the truck up. Now I was driving it around like last week. Um, so I started the truck up and for whatever reason, I decided I should take the oil cap off the valve cover and I did and I didn't see any oil pumping to the top end. Uh, then my engine locked up. So then I knew that I wasn't pumping any oil. So I spent a few hours, you know, on a bunch of oil uh, trying to figure this out and I put this filter back on but it didn't seem to be pumping oil to the top end. But I probably didn't wait long enough. Uh, but I got frustrated, right? So I took both filters off and I watched the oil come out of the filter hole. So I knew that the oil pump was pumping out of the side of the block. Um, then I went to put it back on to see if it was going through the filter. Kids or kids. Um, so I put the filter back on to see if it was going through the filter and I unhooked the line back to the return line to the block and it blew off and I got frustrated. Um, and I didn't do anything yesterday. It was rainy and crappy. 
So I came up here today, I, I ran the same experiment, this filter with no bypass in it, um, does not pass oil. And I don't know if that's because it's tiny or because it has no bypass. Um, blocking the bypass is something that they used to do on small block Chevy. So like Fords have a old Fords like Windsor's and Cleveland's have a bypass in the block. LS engines have a bypass in the block. Most modern engines have a bypass in the block, which is why this doesn't have a bypass in it. Small block Chevys like Gen 1 small blocks um, do not have a bypass in the block. They have a bypass in the filter in the filter housing. And people used to block them to get full oil pressure. People are obsessed with oil pressure constantly. When all you need is some. But anyway, neither here nor there. I thought this would be okay. Um, so I put the filter back on, started the truck up. Nothing was coming out of there. Nothing. Shut it down. Um, put this back on it. Started the truck up. Waited for this one gallon capacity to fill. And oil started pumping out. So, what did I learn today? Well... I learned that apparently I need a bypass in my filter um, in order to pump oil, which is a bummer and kind of lame. I wanted to take this thing down to our academy at the lake and drive it around on the trails for the first time this weekend, but that's not going to be happening. So um, what I'm probably going to do to fix it is this is a 1-16 thread. I'm probably going to go to a 3 quarter 16 thread which is more common and I will redo the filter buy a new filter head use small block Chevy filters so that I can still get a short filter and have the clearance um, and then I'm gonna do a restricted oil line what the fuck are you looking at weirdo um, I'm gonna do a restricted oil line to the turbo and the standard and, and just clean that up a little bit the best I can so sorry for a long boring video but that's what I got. So if you have any insight on bypass filters or not bypass filters or, you know, whether it matters or why it matters, because I honestly don't know. I just assumed it would force all the oil through the filter and it would come out just fine. But it definitely does not. Like the buck stops there. It, come, it does not come out of that filter. So I hate to keep throwing $10, $12, $15 filters at it. I might go get a... I don't know. I might go get another filter that fits that with a bypass and see if it works first. I guess that's kind of cheaper. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I got two little dogs that want to, I don't know what they want to do. They want to sleep, apparently. Chew their butts. But, uh, they're a little hot. So, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And, uh, I am working on the biodiesel stuff for you guys. I just don't have everything yet, so... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.